when you mentioned the books, I remembered this one, Number Stories of Long Ago. And this is a living, what we would consider a living yes. book. Did Charlotte teach math through living books? Well, it's a common misconception that math was taught through what we think of living books today. Stories. Or that it was taught through a storyline curriculum. Mm -hmm. That wasn't the case in the Charlotte Mason education. What Charlotte believed was that mathematics was an actual living language itself. Yes. That it was at both, both at once melodious and logical. And because of that, it fell outside of her rule for a literary presentation. So we do have we do have this one book that was a free read um, between our grades four through nine. And it really is, this is in the public domain, so you can read it online. But the, the children free. would just read it in their leisure time. It was yes. not part of the lessons. Yeah. Charlotte did not no. use living stories like this and hope the children would grasp concepts of math. It was a totally different way of teaching. It was, because the math that they're learning, that's full of the living ideas. Yes. And so yes. when we allow that, that kind of um, unfolding of absolute truth to take place in front of a child's eyes, and we don't stand between that by giving them twaddle, basically, in math form, just because it's a a living math book on a list on the internet doesn't actually make it a living math book. That's true. It has to stand up to the to the same qualities that we would look at if we're looking at any other living book. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So we don't stand between the child. We allow the math basically to speak for itself. And you mentioned the absolute truth of the mm -hmm. math. That phrase really stood out to me when I was reading your book that Charlotte appreciated math because of the beauty and truth of math. Talk a little bit about that. What did she okay. mean? <laughs> so from the, the first time I opened Charlotte Mason's volumes, I was highlighting those words, beauty and truth, hmm. in relationship to math. Yeah. Those are words that had never occurred to me to apply to math. Exactly. When I think back on the math and how I learned math, mm -hmm. I don't think beauty and truth. No, I think <laughs> tears and frustration yes, was yes. our experience, uh -huh. right? But what's happening here with Charlotte Mason's living teaching is that from the time a child sees 2 plus 2 equals 4 and will never ever equal anything mm -hmm. else, no mm -hmm. matter what they do, they are actually seeing one of God's laws, one of His fixed laws of the universe, in one of its simplest forms. Yes.